back to my channel. I know it has been a while since we just sat down and like pregnancy talk. So I'm 22 weeks and which is crazy. I swear, I swear I will do better on keeping y'all updated. Um, so that's what this video is for. We are going to do a little Q and A um, and like just kind of stuff that isn't talked about in pregnancy at all, which is weird to me because I feel like going into pregnancy, I had no idea what to expect. Nobody like stuff. Nobody talks about. So that's what this video is for. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. And I have a lot of the questions that were asked were actually answered in a previous video. So if I kind of say like, go back and watch that one, that's what I'm referencing. It's like the telling my husband I'm pregnant one and the pregnancy update and all that. I answered a lot of like story time questions. I'm chasing daylight here because it gets really, really dark here at like three. Well, actually it's three right now. It's starting to get dark. So yeah, let's get started. Okay. The number one question was, do we have a name picked out? And this is something I've talked about in the past. We probably will not tell anyone our name until the very, very second she pops out. Um, besides like friends and family, mainly because I am so scared someone's going to take it. Jared and I have been talking basically about this name since 2018. I kind of already like screenshotted the messages just to have for keepsake because I just think it's so special that we've basically had the same name since before we were engaged and before we were married. Yeah, it was like two years into our relationship we started talking about baby names. Um, but the middle name we recently came up with and that's really exciting. Me and Jarrett have like already started calling her by her name, but I still want to give myself some grace. Like, cause if you announce it, I feel like that's like solidifying it and going back on it is hard. So I'm trying to like give myself a little bit of leeway in case I want to change it. I'm going to include the screenshot just so you guys can see. Cause it's, it's really sweet. I love it. We've got basically it. I think I'm going back and forth on the middle name, but I'm pretty, pretty set on it, but I'll give you guys a clue. Like me and Jarrett like are very, no, actually I'm not going to give you a clue. Sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I love you guys though. So I think this is a good question. What's the hardest part in pregnancy that has been for me personally, everything that I say to you is through my personal experience, not through others. And if I say it's through others, I'm referencing them, but every woman going through pregnancy and this pregnancy journey knows that everyone is so different. Like everyone's bumps are different. Everyone's journeys are different. Everyone's first trimester, second trimester, birth, delivery, everything is different. So I'm trying to be as transparent as possible through my journey. So I don't want you guys to ever compare any pre pregnancy, especially like young women out there. There are some questions that I could tell came from like youngins because they use some words that I was like, uh, excuse me. You should never call a pregnant woman fat. For example, I just want to say whatever I say comes from me, my heart, my journey, my personal experience. And I am no expert at all. I'm going through this and y'all are going through it with me step by step. So, okay. So for me personally, like the weight gain has been hard and I am not like anyone who has ever cared about my body. I've just always been petite. So like looking at my body with this bump, I'm like, whoa, like it is the craziest and coolest and most amazing thing ever. But I feel like it's such a weird topic to talk about weight gain during pregnancy. But like one, I've had to give myself so much grace because I hadn't really talked about this, but at the very beginning of my pregnancy, I had like spotting right around eight weeks. And then I had more spotting at 15 weeks, which freaked me out. I'm sure you can imagine like, you know, you never want to see any type of blood during pregnancy unless you're about to give birth. Obviously that was just something I never really opened up about because I, you know, was so worried about it at the time and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Honestly, like my doctors were like, you need to gain more weight. You need to stop working out. Whoa. That's like a wake up call. And to me, working out was never to prevent gaining weight. It was to stay healthy and fit because that's something I love. Like I love to work out just to feel good and like enjoy it. And it's like a stress relief, you know, like when my doctors told me that, and they also told me at the very beginning that I was going to be someone who needed to gain weight. It was more just like a BMI. I think they explained this was a while ago, so I can't really remember, but let's just say we're good. I gained the weight. Technically I've gained a pound a week. So if I'm 22 weeks, I think I've gained 22 pounds total so far. And that's what they say you're supposed to do. They started calculating my weight gain at nine weeks because that was my first appointment. And that's usually what they do. Again, this is just kind of like letting y'all know stuff that is not talked about, but they, you don't even get to go to the doctor till nine weeks. How crazy is that? I'm all over the place. Answering the question, what is the hardest part about pregnancy? Weight gain in a roundabout way. I hope you guys understand that it's not because I'm concerned about gaining weight. It's just functioning at a new weight. That's the hardest thing. Like back aches, boob aches, 
my belly actually aches a lot. I hope that was an okay answer. I'm just trying to be honest. Okay, when did you start showing? I would say I and like close people around me could tell I was pregnant kind of immediately just because again, I was petite. It was kind of easy to tell from the beginning, but like I could hide it, you know? If you're on the internet, you wouldn't be able to tell. But if you're like my husband or my best friend or anything, they're like, oh my gosh, like it's so weird. Like, you know, you're not flat anymore. I'm like, I know it's weird. I think that I really popped like recently. They always say, it takes a while to pop, like especially with your first pregnancy, but once you do, it's like, whoa. And I think 21 weeks was when I popped. I like feel pregnant, I look pregnant, there's no mistaking it. Like even, <laughs> this is funny, I went to Sephora and this girl was like, oh my God, I just have to tell you, your outfit is the cutest thing ever and your little bump and I was like, oh wow, she noticed my bump, like that's, you know, weird to me, like people can tell now. How has your workout routine changed during pregnancy? With the spotting, I had to really slow it down. Around 15 weeks, like right before a gender reveal is whenever all this went down and the scariness of it. So my workout routine honestly did not change much overall besides having to stop. Um, for a few weeks, I stopped from 15 to about 20 weeks. So about five weeks, I did not work out, did not move, like was listening to the doctors, allowing my body to rest. And then I started working out again and I would say I started going to Pilates only. And that was like crazy to see what they wanted me to modify, what they were like, oh, you could do this. And I was like, really? Awesome. Going to Pilates, I've been going twice a week um, and I've loved it. I still like can feel my abs flexing. And every Pilates person has been like, this is gonna be so good for you. So I love doing that right now. So that's kind of like, my pregnancy workout routine has just kind of like modified. Did we wait to tell people why and why not? Um, we didn't really wait to tell anybody except for family that we couldn't see in person because I wanted to tell everyone in person that I could. So that was so special when we got to tell people in person. And I have a whole video on it if you haven't seen it. I didn't really care if people knew that we're like our closest and most special family um, and friends, mainly because if anything happened, I'd want a support system. And that was kind of like our mindset going into it was a support system of people and it's just like, you have to just have that mindset that everything's gonna be okay, you know? Even if it wasn't, and it, again, I did spot, so that kind of stopped us from telling some people, but otherwise, it was just kind of like this news that we were so excited to tell our friends and family that we didn't really wanna wait. This was a big question <laughs> most people ask about sex drive, and y'all, I have no issue talking about sex drive. I have the same sex drive, honestly. I would just say it takes a little bit getting used to, like the belly definitely can get in the way. This is TMI for you, just skip through. Yeah, I feel like it's the same. If anything, it's a little bit enhanced, if you know what I mean. No need to worry about that if you are worried about that. How many babies do we want? Um, I love this question because we had literally all of our baby names probably picked out for a while. <laughs> I genuinely just want a boy and a girl and then go from there. Like me and Jarrett um, were both set on big families. We always have this running joke that if we had all girls, I think we would stop. But if we had all boys, I think we would try for a girl. And now I'm kind of like, now that we're having a girl, I want a boy so badly. So I think I would go for the fifth if we had four girls and we're trying for a boy. I think I would. Four or five, depending on how many we have of each, if that makes sense. Okay, were you guys trying or wasn't an amazing surprise? This is one of the questions I was referencing that definitely has been answered already. So questions like, were you guys trying? How did you find out? How did you tell Jarrett? All of that in a previous video. Um, put it right here. So you can go look at it. Okay, what's the best and what's the worst thing about being pregnant? So let's get honest, okay? Worst thing is food. You can't have everything you want. I did not know how much I could not have. Again, nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about it. I had to Google all of it. I wish there was a YouTube video that literally said stuff nobody talks about. Maybe that will be my title, but I feel like there's so much more, so maybe that's like a future video that I need to like dive deep in. Articles and Google was my best friend for a while. The worst thing was like figuring out everything that I could not eat, what I could not use in skincare, what I could not use 
for lotions and whatever. But obviously, you're gonna follow them to make sure the baby's healthiest. Like, I'm not eating sushi. Some people do. That's, again, up to you. I know you're not supposed to eat deli meat, but I ate Subway a lot. Um, but I love my Subway sandwiches, y'all. I can't not. But it was toasted, so I think that's the way around it. As long as the meat is, like, warmed up. Yeah, so that's, like, the worst part is finding out everything that you're not allowed to eat slash use, I guess. And then the best part, I love this. Like, I love, 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 love watching my bump grow. Like, it is the most special thing. And feeling the baby and looking at her. Ugh. Weirdest slash unexpected changes. About to get a little TMI. My boobs have already produced milk. I don't know if this is normal to be this early. From everyone I've talked to, like my friends, they did not experience this. So if you have, please comment below. <laughs> but I can literally just burp, squeeze it out. I don't know if that means I'm gonna have great breast milk or a great like nursing process because I do plan to breastfeed. Oh my God, my foot fell asleep. Mm. That's also another thing, leg cramps, leg cramps and falling asleep a lot. Anyways milk coming out of my boobs it used to just be like kind of like leaky a little bit and i was like oh my god now i can full-on squeeze and pump if i wanted to all my friends have told me to start literally like squeezing it into a bottle and saving it and freezing it because i think it's colostrum and i asked my doctor about it and they were like you should 100 percent do it and i was like all right i think i'm just not wanting to right now because it's still weird but i think i'm gonna start doing it soon saving it because apparently colostrum is liquid gold yay me I guess. But that's weird. Like, it's so weird. Like, I literally call it my party trick <laughs> when I'm with the girls. I'm like, guys, watch. And I do it. Okay, I love this question. What do her movements feel like? Can you compare it to something? So, I started feeling her kick around 17 weeks. I would say 16 weeks. But I've seen, like, it's so weird. Like, I could see it. Like, on the day of our, like, pregnancy photo shoot, I saw my stomach so warped. Like, I could see it. It was weird. And the doctor told me it's because... I just was flat enough to like see it, so I got lucky, I guess. But I have been feeling like these little boop, boop, boop. This is how I explained it to my best friends, and they were like, whoa, that was a great description. Whenever you have pop rocks in your mouth, like, you know how it goes, like, in your mouth? Well, that's how it feels when she kicks. You blow a bubble with bubble gum and you pop it inside your mouth. That's what it feels like in my stomach, right? That's a good, you can picture that. And then another way I described it was feel like your own heartbeat and you can feel it like beating. That's what it feels like when they kick. Like when she kicks, that's what it feels like. It just feels like a heartbeat, like boom, boom. It's the most wild thing ever. So yes, I can feel her move and um, I've started feeling it way more strongly now. I'm 22 weeks injured. Finally, like it's strong enough to where you can feel it on the outside now. That's something else that no one talks about. You can't, like you can, the me, mom, can feel it way, way earlier. Like you can feel it internally way before you can feel it externally. Again, I've been feeling it since around 16, 17 weeks and I've seen it, but he hasn't really gotten to see it or feel it. I'll actually insert a little clip right here. <gasps> it's like the most like subtle, but you can see it, I swear. Now that I can finally like see it, I cannot wait for it to get like stronger. And I'm talking, when I say it, I'm talking about the kick. I cannot wait to see her kicks get stronger and like more just elaborate. Like, I'm like, punch me, punch me, I wanna see it. It's so exciting, but it's, that's like the coolest thing. As Soon as you get to this point in pregnancy, it's like, oh my God, like that is a human. Any tips with insomnia? Oh, I had horrible, horrible insomnia from 15 weeks until honestly recently. The past two weeks, I've really gotten some good sleep, but it was horrible. I guess my tip that I would tell you is to take Unisom. Ask your doctor first, obviously, but Unisom helped me get back kind of like into the, just go to sleep, you know? Like it would keep, like it wasn't, it was an issue with falling asleep, not necessarily staying asleep. What prenatals do I take? I take Ritual, love Ritual. I might still have a code. If I have a code, I'll put it below. I started taking them the second I figured out, like found out I was pregnant and that's kind of what you're supposed to do. But you can also, if you are planning to try for a family, you can take prenatals whenever. Uh, but again, we weren't like planning. So I hadn't taken them until the second I found out. I was like, oh my God, I have to take my prenatals. Luckily I had some because I just love 
ritual in general. So I had ordered them like forever ago because I was like, one day I'm going to need this when I try to plan. And I just had them. So luckily for me, that was great. What were my earliest symptoms? So my symptoms have been pretty consistent throughout pregnancy. Big boobs. That was my number one symptom that showed before I even knew I was pregnant. I was like, oh my God, my boobs look huge. Number two was bloating. Um, I, again, if you go back and watch the video, I talked about how bloated I was a million times and going forward, like, I guess I know those two things I'm going to know, you know, I was pregnant by and I have pretty much had those for basically the entire pregnancy. Like my boobs just keep getting bigger now because I think they're filled with milk and colostrum, but Maybe if I start squeezing it out, they'll get a little smaller, but I miss my, miss my flat chest. But again, I'm absorbing the bodily changes and just appreciating it. Hey, I can wear some nice bathing suits this summer, which will be fun because these boobs will go away. They're not permanent. <laughs> I am chasing daylight. If you cannot tell, it has gotten so much darker throughout this video. So stay with me. We're going to go strong until the end. Okay. So this is something that I want to address real quick because it honestly made me mad, but I'm not going to get mad at it. It, it's fine. But somebody asked, have you had any struggle getting fatter? Guys, y'all, PSA for any person that is asking a pregnant woman that you should never use the word fatter in general ever or with pregnancy because you gain weight. You can't help it. You're going to gain weight whether it's in your belly, just your belly, arms, legs, because you're supporting a human. So this is just my PSA to never use the word fatter, fatter, fat in any sense of the word to anybody ever, but especially pregnant women. What is my ideal birth experience? Natural, medicated, at home, hospital. Again, every person is different, but I feel like our ideal birth experience will be in a hospital bed. I want that epidural <laughs> and I want to give birth naturally. That's all I really know about birth. Honestly, my mom had all four of us naturally. So like through the vagina. we'll pray, the, pray to the Lord that everything goes well, whatever keeps the baby healthy. That's what I want. I don't care, but that's just kind of like off the top of my head. What I can tell you through for the birth plan, what apps do I use? Okay. This is such a good question because again, I had no idea what to use for like app tracking, like pregnancy. So this is the app that I use. It is called what to expect. I'll put a little screenshot here so you guys know what it looks like. And I also use the bump. Um, but I kind of like what to expect better because it kind of is so much more interactive. Like it shows you what fruit your baby is or what fruit or vegetable. And then it shows you what nineties and eighties nostalgic prop it is. And also I thought it was really cool because whenever I went for my 20 week checkup, we were told that she was already a pound on my app. It obviously said that she was not supposed to be a pound for two more weeks. And right now I'm 22 weeks and it says she's supposed to be a pound. And I know she's obviously bigger. Um, that's also something else that, um, I never really updated you guys on at our last checkup. She is measuring two weeks ahead. My due date is April 12th, but I have a feeling she's coming early. So mark my words. And if she doesn't come early, then I'll make a video about it saying how I wish she was probably here already. <laughs> my mom gave birth to all four of me and my sisters two weeks early on the dot for all four of us. So I think she'll definitely come early. So mark my words, but we'll see. We'll see. Every, every pregnancy is different. Some people go super late on their first one. So I don't know. We'll see. So she's measuring in the 98th percentile for, I think everything I, I'd have to pull it up. They were like, wow, you got a big baby. And I was like, love that. RIP my vagina <laughs> baby registry. So I am registered on baby list. That's just what everyone told me to do. I will definitely update you guys on like my must haves for baby and most recommended by everybody. That'll probably be a totally different video along with like the hospital bag and the nursery videos. Those are all to come again. It's only December. She's due in April, but I feel like time is lying that I have to get on it and I'll do like a little registry video of like what I registered for what you actually need, what you don't need. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Definitely. Somebody asked me stretch marks. I have not had any stretch marks yet. I'm 22 weeks. I don't know if they come after or before, but I also feel like stretch marks are 150% genetic. You can use all the lotions in the world. You can use all the oils in the world. My favorites are right now. My favorites are bio oil. You can get on Amazon and, um, summer Fridays belly oil. So just know 
that I think those are all genetic, but you can use oil. And my mom didn't have stretch marks, but she did get the line on her stomach. I do have a little line coming in, so those genetics are definitely coming in. But my mom said she only had it for one, for me, for one baby and not the rest. So we'll see how that goes. Um, due date. Due date is April 12th, but I have a feeling she's coming April 4th. I don't know why. I just think she is 4-4. Four, four. We'll see. What's the most surprising thing you've learned about yourself during pregnancy and Jared? I think the most surprising thing that I've learned, again, this is a personal opinion, how miraculous it is. And it is such a testament to the word of God and that God is real and that he is amazing and that he created this life inside of me. It, there's literally no other explanation for it. Like it is so amazing to see how the lord created the world and people and babies and yeah so i think that's the most like amazing thing i've learned throughout pregnancy is like wow this human growing inside of me is literally a miracle like it is so cool um and something surprising that i've learned about Jarrett, he is going to be the most amazing father like he has been so involved in everything and as much as he can because we're in the middle of season and I'm pregnant that's a hard thing in its own self and how present he's been he's been going to every single appointment he actually couldn't go to the 20 week appointment which was like the most important but it's because our schedule got turned around last second which is such a bummer but we're gonna schedule another one like for him to see like the 3d version and all that which is so cool that is something that I've surprising is that he is so involved so in love so like inquisitive and he wants to know everything he's so curious he wants to feel her move he wants to watch her move it's so cute will you still travel with the baby i think this is a very good question because me and Jarrett have the mindset of we are not gonna let having a kid hold us back at all we want her to experience everything that we get to experience and i know it's gonna come with challenges but some of my favorite like Instagram people that I followed have given such great advice on this um, So I hope one day I can too because I think um, Something that stuck out to us from one of our family friends was like we did everything together with a baby and it was even better It's worth it. It's harder, but it's so much better and I was like, okay That's something that I'm like really looking forward to in that aspect and the Lord said let there be light so Let's finish off with a few more. Will baby Siddham be born in Boston? So this is a good question because we don't really have like a home base. Home base is Boston. So yes, she will be. Um, and um, we're not gonna go anywhere for the off season besides maybe a baby moon, uh, but who knows when the off season's gonna begin. Season is so unpredictable right now. Moral of the story, we will be here. She will be born here which is very fun and exciting. Is this what you thought being pregnant would feel like? No, I guess. I thought it would be, I don't know, like every day you would wake up knowing you're pregnant. Honestly, some days I wake up and I forget I'm pregnant. Like I'm doing something and I'm like, why am I so tired? I'm like, oh yeah, cause I'm pregnant. Like I feel like you don't really know until you're, you're like in it and your body's changing every single day and you're growing every single day. And I don't know, maybe I'm not far along enough yet. So I feel like I'm pretty far along. But I feel like maybe later on, it'll be like every day I feel pregnant. But right now I'm just kind of like living normal life. And I know there are people who experience like pregnancy symptoms like nausea, you know, other really big symptoms like throughout their pregnancy. And I'm really blessed and lucky that I haven't. So I definitely understand. Again, this is me and my personal experience. Um, but sometimes I just forget I'm pregnant. So I feel like maybe this question, is this what I thought it would feel like? No and yes. I feel like I'm functioning pretty normal and I thought that I wouldn't be able to, if that makes sense. So that's my answer to this question. So let's finish off this Q&A on this question. Is pregnancy easier or harder than you thought it would be? I think it is honestly easier than I thought it would be. Um, and again, every pregnancy is different. So some people could have a different answer. But for me personally, I think it's easier because I was like honestly stressed at the beginning of like how all the, I was gonna handle all these changes and how I was gonna react to like, you know, things growing and things moving around and getting different. Cause I am not great at change. I am a person that loves to know what I know. I accept it, but I love to just be prepared. And it's been easier mainly just because 
of the thought of a human growing inside of me, me and Jarrett making a human together, that has made it easy because it's all worth it for her. And when we get to see her, I just know that all my worries from before pregnancy were just not even a, a worry while I'm pregnant at all. So yeah, I feel like it's easier because of how special and miraculous like pregnancy is in general. It's easier than what I thought it was gonna be because it just gives you so much to look forward to and so much to like, yeah, so much to look forward to. So I feel like it's easier in that aspect. And I've obviously answered the harder stuff, but when I say it's harder, like the things that I struggled with or um, things that made pregnancy like worst and best thing, I mean that as like, it's all worth it because of what is to come. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to have an honest talk about it. And hopefully I answered some questions that you guys have not really, you know, heard the answers to before. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, and I hope you guys liked my festive Christmas tree background because we're excited for Christmas around here. So our last Christmas, just us two, which is crazy. Okay, bye y'all.